today we are going to discuss about uh, myelination and unmyelination and uh, there are two diseases related to uh, the defects caused in the myelination of neurons in central nervous system and peripheral nervous system suppose uh, for this purpose i made uh, a graph of the neuron pause and this is a neuron And this is the axon. This is the multiple neuron having multiple extensions from the neuroplasmic. This is the cell body of neuron and the cell granules, mitochondria and free organelles here. And these are the nerve endings, what we call the axonal endings, terminal, axonal terminals. These are connected to the synaptic cleft and then to the other neuron. So myelination is provided by different type of glial cells. In central nervous system, the myelination is provided by in central nervous system. The myelination is provided by the, by oligodendrocytes. Oligodendrocytes, and in the peripheral nervous system, the Myelination is mainly provided by Schwann cells. Schwann cells. What is the difference between the myelination of these oligodendrocytes and the Schwann cells? We will discuss in detail. Suppose this neuron is myelinated. It means that it have special type of cells around the exon and these cells produce lipid layer around the exon which make them less conductive and more insulative these cells produce secrete or layer of uh, lipids around this uh, exon, terminals, exon endings and along the whole exons uh, which uh, provide it it's an insulating uh, structure. So this is what we call as myelination and now this neuron is myelinated neuron and if these cells are uh, into the central nervous system and providing myelination they will be called as oligodendrocytes and if these uh, cells are uh, outside the central nervous system that is, is present in the peripheral nervous system then these cells what we call as Schwann cells and how this myelination is provided first we will discuss and that is the Schwann cell in peripheral nervous system Myelination is peripheral nervous system. That is in peripheral nervous system is provided by Schwann cells. Schwann cells. Suppose I made here this is the cross section area of the exon and it is also the exon. And the 
axon is composed of smaller many neurofibers these are the nerve neurofibers so what happened these axons are covered with special type of cell and this cell what we call as Schwann cell this is the Schwann cell in peripheral nervous system so here if this myelinated, if uh, the Schwann cells make a layer of the lipid around this axon like this, that it secrete a layer and this layer covers the neuron multiple times. So then it is called a myelinated neuron. And this one which have a portion which is not covered by the Schwann cell and it is not uh, around 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 the axons multiple times so it is called is unmyelinated axon so this is what we called myelination myelinated axon and this is unmyelinated axon So this is the difference between myelination and unmyelination in peripheral nervous system. And what happened in the central nervous system? If we look in the central nervous system, the process is little bit different. That in central nervous system, here mainly oligodendrocytes, oligodendro sites these are the cells which provided myelination in the central nervous system also uh, these are made in euro this is another neuro present near to it and this is another neuro links and what here the cell body cell body of neuron these are the neurons in central nervous system Suppose here is oligodendrocyte cell. What it do? It has lux feeds here and provide myelination to the neuron. And also a single cell provided myelination to another neuron. And like this, another group of cell, oligodendrocytes, which provide myelination to the next neuron. That in central nervous system, a single cell of dendrocyte provided myelination to large number of neurons. And the other function of this oligodendrocyte is that it keeps the neuron in a specific position and it doesn't allow the neurons to propagate or to move freely into the central nervous system. So if we look the transverse section of this neuron, then we come to know suppose this is the axon, these are the two axons. And so 
this is the layer provided by a single oligodon the site this is also the myelinated layer provided by the exon sites and here what we have the oligodendrocyte cell it is providing myelination to the neurons so what happened if uh, any degeneration occur in central nervous system or peripheral nervous system regarding these uh, myelinated layer So we, uh, before going through the pathology of uh, the myelination, we will discuss uh, about the conduction through the myelination, myelinated neurons. Suppose this is the neuron, peripheral or central it may be, and these are the myelinated site the cells which are providing myelination. This is the myelination. Mm, Suppose I need here the cell body. Whenever myelination is provided it means that a layer of uh, lipids surround around the axons as we know that the lipids are uh, not electrically conductive they are electrically insulative and are not good conductor so what they do they will decrease the conductivity of the neurons they uh, decrease the conductivity or increase the resistivity conductivity conductivity and resistivity they will decrease the conductivity by increasing the resistivity resistance so resistance against what a resistance against the flow of charges inside to outside is this membrane this portion of the membrane are covered with myelination so the the potassiums they never go outside and the sodiums they never come inside at this position so here the channels doesn't work so what happened if they are not working here is the channels here doesn't work so the channels present or here they work only those channels which present here they work they open up and allow the sodium ions to come inside and the potassium come to outside sodium inside and potassium outside due to this exchange of the ions here generated action potential so action potential is generated on these points this and this so here positive in positive outside negative inside then it will become negative outside positive outside like this generation of the action potential is created so what we can say that whenever the stimulus or the message from the cell body in the form of chemical stimulus reaches to these points this chemical message is converted into electrical uh, stimulus at this point 
and because of the presence of a myelinated sheet over here this action potential first generate over here and generate over here so it move like this one and again jumping from it jumps from one to the other node and this uh, way of conduction what we call it is solitary conduction solitary conduction solitary conduction and the place of the neuron the space or the portion of the neuron where the action potential is generated and this portion which is nearer to the neck is called as exon hallock So this point is exon hallock. Exon hallock is the point where the action potential generate and it's move in a solitary conduction and the space between the myelinated sheets and this space where the action potential is generating it is called a uh, node of Ranvir. So what we call node of Ranvir. So this space is called node of node of Ranvir. So this is all about the uh, myelination and the, the myelination provided the first conduction so we can say that a myelinated neuron can conduct the impulses faster than a myelinated neuron because of the uh, presence of the myelination which is lipid layer uh, lipid layer around the exons which uh, decreases the conductivity by increasing the resistivity or the resistance to the flow of charge inside and outside now uh, let us uh, discuss about the uh, pathology of the uh, neurons uh, in our next lecture.